Day before the house sale, let's show you what the mayhem looks like. As you can see, it is pretty messy in here. Just got a new collection, so we're trying to go through everything. So right now, this is what it's looking like. Yeah, this collection has been a lot of fun though. I recently just got into India, I guess, because this is what this is full of. But I'll show everybody what we've been getting. We got into it for a really good price. So we'll show you kind of some things that we've been finding. We got some dark claw. And I got those last night. This one actually is pretty expensive. It's not pretty expensive, but being as though I got all the books for like 20 cents, this is like a $10 book, Lobo Duck. Yeah, so we're into everything for around 20 cents. So any of these are definitely a nice profit. Trying to get some new books that we could put on the wall. We got the Green Lantern Rebirth. We actually have found some cool first appearances in this. Um, we found, what was that first appearance that we just found? Is that one in here or is it somewhere else? Um, we found a really I think cool it's right one. Here. Is it under there? Yeah, see, yeah so look at that. I was going through this box though. This is where they were in. It was just sitting in this box right here. Just with That's no... Uh, yeah, no bag and board. Yeah, it was just kind of sitting in here. It's a whole like indie box. So I went through all these and I'm going to put these out for the house sale and let everybody just have fun. But this right here is... um. Where is it? Did I put it? Oh, it should be in there, maybe. This one is the first, um, I forgot her name, Jessica Cruz, I think it is. It's that thicker, oversized issue, Green Lantern 20, really nice copy, too. That's just a really cool Jay Lee cover with the Avengers, free comic book day. But when you find stuff like this in these collections, you get excited. Like, this is the first appearance of the manga Wolverine, like manga X-Men, first appearance. Spider-Man movie adaptation from Tobey Maguire. So it's pretty cool finding this stuff. That's Todd McFarlane on Hellcop number one. Drifter, final issue. This is um, Michael Turner, first interior. Or no, this is Michael Turner, first cover. That's what it is. Amazing Spider-Man, fun cover. So what I've been doing is just going through the collection and putting aside all the books that I think are worth some money. Like this one right here is the first appearance of the new Ronin. This is the variant cover on 27 from the Coliseum of Comics. We have Secret Wars number eight variant. There's Secret Wars number eight. The uh, I, th I don't know who did that cover. That's a really nice variant cover there. There's another one with Star Lord on number six. Fun Daredevil cover. David Mack on Wolverine. Some nice Deadpool's in here. You have issue 900. Trying to save all my Deadpool books I can. Getting in preparation for the uh, the show coming up. That's Dracula's Gauntlet number one. Liefeld with a floating head. I got some really cool Liefeld covers in here. And surprisingly, a lot of these books are really nice shape, being as though they were like not really kept well. Oh, here it is. There it is. Yeah, look at this thing though. It's really nice for like, it was just sitting in here. It was literally just sitting inside of this yeah. box over here. So. First Blue Beetle. And it's actually a pretty yeah. nice copy. So that's pretty exciting because that's, you know, a few hundred dollars, like maybe raw 150, 200. It's a really solid copy. I think this is probably like a, I want to say at least a 4.0 and the Blue Beetle, there he is. Hopefully we'll find some more books like that. I mean, we still have all of this to go through from the collection as well as this down here, right? You haven't gone through yeah, this well, yet either? It's, it's all of this down here still I have to go through. It's all of this over here and then all of this right down here. And we have all that too. So definitely a big collection that we got. So we actually got it, what, like three, four days before the house sale? Yeah, well, that's what's, the, the whole reason why we bought it is it, Sarah found it, it's a little early in the morning here, so don't make fun of the way I look with my Crocs <laughs> and my little Santa t-shirt or long t shirt here. But Sarah found the listing on, what was it, Offer Up, right? Yeah, it was on Offer Up. Yeah, so you always gotta look on different platforms. I always usually go to Facebook Marketplace first, but Sarah has luck on Offer Up sometimes too. So she went on Offer Up and found this huge collection, and the guy needed to sell it because it was in his parents' house. He, well, he lives in his parents' house, and it was taking up an entire bedroom in the house. And I guess he um, he didn't, I guess the way I should phrase it is he wasn't able to sell it as easily as he thought he was. So he bought it, I think he said back in um, like November oh, wow. or something. So he's had it for a while, but he never went through it because he got a new job and they've been he's been working a lot. And um, he planned on selling a lot of it on eBay. We have pretty much 24 hours to clean this place up. So it'll be pretty cool though, because you guys will see like what it looked like 24 hours before and then uh, what it's gonna look like afterwards. So this is literally the only wall that's done so far.
Yeah, well, the so other we're thing getting is, it together. The, the thing that's scary to me is it's pretty much a dollar sale and like a fill a short box sale for 80 bucks, right? Which is a 50 cent sale. <laughs> but the, I, I'm kind of nervous to put out the key issues on the tables because there's really no space and there's so many dollar books and that's how someone stole from us last time is I uh, I had pre-priced stuff on the table which sh like short boxes that they could just fill up with 50 cent inventory and they snuck a pre-priced book in there. I think the only pre-priced comics we're gonna have is what we're able to fill on the wall. That might be a huge mistake, I don't know because obviously you can see there's really not that much stuff in here and I have so many comics, I, it's kind of hard to choose what you want to put up. I got variants, first appearances, and it's not even talking about the Silver Age. I mean, I started going through it yesterday. And yeah, we put some up everywhere. here, some of the Silver Age. We're trying to, I'm trying to do like a Silver Age section over here, I guess. And then the other walls, more modern books, but we still have all these books that we're going to have to put out. So just kind of going through the boxes, seeing what we want to put on the walls. That's Cause like Angelo said, it's only going to be what's on the walls this time around. Since both rooms are filled with dollar books, one in 25 variant on the Batman. I got like Punisher number one. Agents of Atlas was in there. I have uh, Villains for Hire number one, but then there's also the Captain America. Oh, and then these right here. I've never even um, seen these before. These uh, Max issues, that's issue 30. Oh, and then the Mayhem. This thing is sick. I forgot I found this. The only reason I recognized it was because of um, Tony actually found one. So I got one of those now. First appearance of Manga X-Men. I got a couple of those. This is actually the first appearance of Terminator. Max, really low print run stuff. I actually have the final issue in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I got another one of these. Legion of Aliens. Oh, here it is. Issue 35 really clean copy but i'm pretty happy finding this stuff because there wasn't supposed to be anything in the collection so it's definitely been a fun little one but let me show you guys what i just found all right the house is looking like a mess but this is the calm before the storm right i guess the storm already came <laughs> but it is looking like a mess the office is definitely looking way messier than it should be the house sale is in less than 24 hours but look what I just found in this collection. I was going through the boxes. I only have two more left down there to go through. And then the entire 65 longer box collection will have been pretty much um, gone through because I'm just organizing stuff that's $10 and under right now. I'm trying to get ready for the house sale, but look what I just found. Invincible Iron Man issue nine, first appearance of Riri the variant. I don't think they knew what it was because it was the variant cover. There's so many cool books in this collection. This is another box of some fun number ones that I've been finding and just books that I'm kind of putting to the side that I think are, uh, you know, worth rebagging and boarding, like some Cyber Frog. It's pretty cool. Cyblade, Cyber Force, got Youngblood. This thing's actually really hard to find. It's a um, Stephen Platt cover. This thing's really cool too. The uh, Silver Surfer, Ghost Rider with the uh, witch blade got the coa with it pit there's a low print run pit in here too i didn't realize got the foil cover on jim lee divine right yeah here it is right here this thing is low print run i guess and then look what else i found first appearance of apollo and midnighter on Stormwatch number four so i mean i'm just finding all kinds of cool stuff in this collection i definitely have to uh go through slow though because I don't know everything I'm looking at, like this for example. This is a variant, McFarlane and Mark Silvestri. You have a fun Iron Man cover, found the uh, J. Scott Campbell. Look at this too, this is pretty sick. Thor, I think that's the uh, second print, yeah, second print photo cover variant. J. Scott Campbell, Fright Night, Tomb Raider, Hulk. Oh, I found this too. Batman and the Outsiders number one. Justice League, a whole bag of these, look at this. A whole entire bag, there's probably like 10 or 12 of them inside of this thing. I found Spider-Man with uh, Venom. Try to get the glare off of there. Sonic the Hedgehog, Vampy. 
Adam Hughes. Good morning, everyone. It's the morning of the house sale. We have about an hour until go time. Pretty much everything is set up. We have all the comics out on the tables. The wall it has been completed. So we finished it a little bit last night as well as this morning. So we got everything set up. We're pretty excited. Hopefully we have a good turnout today. It'll be interesting to see who comes because it is December. So I don't know if the holidays, if we'll have more people or less people, but we're pretty excited. And yeah, we only have an hour left. So we'll give you a look around the room. It's pretty festive in here. We haven't plugged the lights in yet, but we did hang up some Christmas lights to make it a little fun and festive. We got a little Christmas tree over there in the corner. So keeping it nice and jolly, but let's go ahead and plug in the lights and let's see what it looks like. I actually really do like how it looks with all the lights. I think it looks cute. I kind of want to just like leave them up for all the house sales. I know we kind of made the decision last Ooh. minute to kind of put them up. Yeah, it definitely brightens the up the room. And then yeah, it does add some light. I did this wall too. Hold it was up. very hard figuring out what to put on the wall. I decided last minute kind of just to go with a bunch of Silver Age and first appearances. And then we did pick some variants that I thought were nicer that people would be interested in but for the most part it's all just silver age first appearances did add racks to this whole wall behind angelo so that one did not have racks in the last sale but we decided since we weren't going to have a whole room of pre-priced stuff that we could get some more wall space so we could display a good amount of books so it'll be interesting to see you know like how much we sell or how many pre-priced books we sell since we don't have that many out in boxes anymore but personally i feel like stuff kind of sells better on the wall anyways because then everyone can see it and they don't really have to like dig to find stuff so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and I purposefully kind of stacked a lot of the books on top of the prices that I previously had because honestly, a lot of the prices are not correct and it's whatever you want to offer me. You know, we're gonna have a really fun day today. It's right before the holidays. I got some really cool stuff up here too, like the Flaming Carrot number one first print. We got a first print on the last Ronin. And then over here, this is pretty interesting. The uh, first appearance of um, Strong Guy, but then this is from the upper deck um, anime box that we did. We unboxed it and this was the hit, the wood card of Strongman. So if someone wants, they can get the uh, first appearance of Strongman with the wood card from the Marvel Anime Volume 2 box. And just a lot of fun stuff, some Vigilante. This is a book I found in the recent collection we picked up. We rebagged and bored them and we got them up here. So we got the Invincible Iron Man, the variant of the first Riri Williams. We also have Stormwatch 4, another first appearance. We have the Max, I believe it's issue 35. That one is a low print run. So we found some really cool stuff in this collection. Also the Mayhem book, that one's actually really interesting. That's the first appearance of the Mask which is really cool. And then we also have the first Terminator up there, the first Blue Beetle. So the collection that we got actually had some really cool keys. And luckily we were into it low enough that we could have made profit if everything was a dollar book. So it's really cool being able to find some keys and add some new stuff to the wall from the collection. All right, so we got, I think like an hour left. So this is usually when me and Angelo just like pace around and wait for the first person to get here. But everything is set up, we're ready to go. And we have all of our extra boxes over here. So we're doing a little bit of a different deal than we did last time last time we still did a short box for $80 but now we're doing a long box for a hundred dollars so that's a pretty crazy deal but it'll be interesting to see if anyone actually gets the long box because I feel like that's a lot of comics <laughs> that seems to be a lot of people's problem too is the space exactly yeah like the space or like you know finding a whole long box of things that they enjoy so I don't know if collectors usually get like a whole long box I know us as resellers like a long box isn't that much but you know to someone it might be so it'll be interesting to see we're gonna try it out so this other room now is all all dollar books as well so we have what like five tables in here there is a good amount of books we were actually able to fit in here so luckily there's you know thousands more books in here we tried to lighten it up a little bit open up the window we don't have the rack over there anymore with any pre-priced books but it definitely is a lot more spacey you know for everyone to go through everything so everyone's not shoulder to shoulder so hopefully everyone will enjoy it i mean we do have some really cool books in here there's a lot of variety marvel dc we got some x-men and most of it is in really nice bags and boards there are a few boxes that have unbagged and boarded things but i mean if you get a short box or a long box deal you're getting everything for like 50 cents so got some star wars aquaman x-force and even the stuff that's non-bagged and boarded you can fit like a lot of books in a short or a long box dr strange that's a cool scarlet witch cover some victories let's see what we got in this one special hawkman elementals oh that's a cool galactus cover 
Some Fantastic Four Doctor Doom cover. Another thing that we did, which is a little different, you can't really see it too well. We probably should have put a little light up here or something, but is the cards. We got the cards completely displayed. I have to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this display case just because it's not super secure to the wall. I had to kind of put this little lever at the top to kind of stick it down to the wall. And these things are really wobbly inside. There's no, um, there's no thing keeping them like leaned back. So this isn't the best, it's cheap on Amazon. That's where I found it, but uh, yeah, it'll do for now. But this is the cards. I don't have any of them priced up. We're gonna be doing it on the fly. So we're pretty much just going off of last sold. It's, what is it? I think it's a hundred and over 120 long boxes. Yeah, it's a, over 100 long boxes, and we have even more that we still kind of got to go through and filter and some stuff we need to add for yeah, pre price well, books. The, the problem is you really can't put everything out because there's just not enough room. I was going to organize these by Marvel and DC. I wasn't going to go crazy and alphabetize it, but I was going to organize them by Marvel and DC. And then last minute, I kind of decided not to because I find that the last couple sales, we had a lot of people were looking through and they would be like looking for something specific they had on their list. And then all of a sudden they would see something and they'll go back and they'll grab it. You know, like right here, I got old man Logan. And then on the next page, you got John Byrne, um, Superman, you know, so you can pick these books up for 40 cents. So, and then over here you got Venom, you know what I mean? Venom number four. So Venom number two, Punisher War Journal, issue 76. And then you got four. You know, some modern Thor, and then we're back to Superman 604. You know, so I figured that was the best way to do it. And then, like I said, the wall books, we repriced a lot of this stuff, especially these higher priced keys up here. You can see I brought out my first Craven, my first Kingpin. We got the Constantine up there, the Wolverine, the first appearance of Harley. It's a lot of money buying these racks. I think we have over $300 in racks on the walls right now. But it really is um, a good way to display some of your books you know, as opposed to just having nothing on the wall or, or putting shelves up or something. I feel like this is a way, way nicer way of doing it, especially if you have way more expensive stuff. I don't really have super expensive stuff. A lot of my keys and variants range anywhere from like $20 to like the most expensive book might be like 500 to 1000 bucks. You know, it's not like you're gonna find any crazy keys at my sale, but I definitely am gonna be cutting deals today. I'm interested to see how many people show up because it's Christmas is right around the corner and I don't think too many people RSVP'd so it'll be interesting but it's gonna be a fun day we're doing a hundred dollars a long box which is pretty awesome and yeah we'll see how many boxes we're left with at the end of the day I figured we could do like a box to put everyone's pre-priced books in if they're still looking around because as you know we've had people steal stuff before by throwing it into the boxes so I thought this would be kind of like a safer way to like okay you have a few things off the wall let's put them in this box while you keep looking at the dollar boxes and then we'll just have everyone's name on there and you know keep it organized and simple I sold a lot of the uh, short boxes at the the last couple sales so we do have the long boxes over here but we're gonna be using this one as like a what like a, a measuring yeah. <laughs> unit so if someone has a bunch of box or a bunch of books and they want to get just the short box we'll just put them in here and be like okay that's a short box worth you know eighty dollars and we'll do it like that so this will be our handy dandy short box I was going to put these inside of all these boxes but um, I think what I'm gonna do is just give them away throughout the day it's just a bunch of cool books that I thought would be fun, you know, a little extra dollar books. So instead of putting them inside of the boxes and letting people, oh, this was a fun one. It's got a little tear right there. It's still a cool book. I think what I'm gonna do is actually get one of those like square tables maybe and put it right here. So then I could put like the measuring short box on there and then the short box for people's uh, pre-priced books. Cause we do kind of have this area, like, you know, there's nothing over here. So I'm gonna get one of the square little tables. Put some out there, if anyone gets thirsty. All right, got the fanny pack. I think we got our square in here. Usually I feel like we have more time, but everything went by really fast this morning. So there's only 30 minutes. There's nobody out by the gate yet. So we'll see. Honestly, we kind of expect it to be a little slower today just because not a lot of people RSVP'd. And with it being the holidays and stuff, I think a lot of people do travel or they're saving up money for the holidays. So, but I think it should be pretty chill, you know? Nice fun day, nine to three, hang out, have some fun and sell some comics. All right, there's a few people here. So we're gonna go ahead and open the gate so we can let them park. Oh, I totally here. forgot about my car. Oh, you forgot about your car. You gotta you move my move car. It or just leave it? All right, let's open the gate and then. I move the car. I'll move it. Oh, it's four people. Four. Ah, I wasn't expecting so many people. Yeah, me either. I don't have anything special for the giveaway today, but I figure we'll just let them pick out of those giveaway boxes. Yeah, just pick some free and stuff. And get some free stuff, yeah. yeah. Get some free stuff. Thank them for coming early. Bye. 
you guys can go ahead and go in. You can park anywhere on the property and then we'll open the, it's in the side house and we'll open the door at nine o'clock. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks for coming by. Hello. Hi, Sarah. You know, hey, you know, what's going on? Park. Good to see you guys, yeah. Hello, how are you? Hey, what's going on, Hi. Dan? It's good Our to people. see you. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Great to see you. You can head on in and park. Okay, let's yeah, go. feel free to park anywhere, guys. Hi, how are you? Good, good. How are you doing? Good. You can hey, park good to see you. On the property, and then we'll open the side door um, in the side house at nine o'clock. Perfect. So you can just down the driveway. You can, yeah, on the driveway, Perfect. in the grass, wherever, wherever Thanks, you can guys. fit. It's good. Okay. Yes, make sure you don't hit any trees or anything. Okay, <laughs> cool. I think oh, there's more people than ever have been here at nine o'clock. Dang, we might have promoted too well. I know, we did too good. <laughs> no, I hope everybody has a good time. That's always well, the problem, think... right? Is making sure everyone yeah, has a... Yeah, that everyone has a good time. Well, that's what I was going to say. I feel like word of mouth, you know, like has gotten out that people enjoy the sale. Yeah, this is more people than ever. We still got that's a few saying. minutes yeah, to start, I think, right? Yeah, I think we still have like 15 minutes. What's up, man? It's so Yo, good to see I'm you. Stoked. Yeah. Good to Dan, see you. Yeah, let me give you guys a formal. Nice, nice to see you again. Stephanie. Yeah, Eric. Adam, Adam. Yeah, Adam. Nice to see you. Nice you to see you again, yeah. You. Jeremy. Nice you to know. see you, Jeremy. You Thank you. Yeah, I know the bugs are going to get a little crazy. we got about 10 minutes, but I think you guys... Oh, we still got more people coming in. Wow. That's awesome. The cold front left. I was literally <laughs> complaining about that this morning. I was like, man, it's been so cold the last week, and now the day i got to do something. 80 degrees outside. Yeah. All right, we do have waters and stuff inside, too. I did not, unfortunately, get the TV hooked up because we went out for Black Friday, and the Xboxes and Playstations were not on discount. <laughs> so I didn't buy one, so we'll probably get one for the next time, but I did get some more racks, and, uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys see anything on the walls, just let me know. The only thing we're kind of staying a little firm on because I just recently repriced them is the books that are on the top row against the wall over here with the white, big white stickers. They're the bigger keys. Like I got the first Craven out, the first Kingpin and stuff. But um, we're still cutting deals on those too. So we'll be back out here in a little bit, I guess. Nice right? nine minutes. Yeah. I feel bad because it's hot out. I know. Do you guys just want to come in now? We'll just let everybody in. Yeah, just come in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, just come in now. Let's go. Hot, nice weather. We didn't press. All right, so Sarah, if you want, if you want, for, actually, um, let's make, make a line here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those books. You guys, were, we're behind Adam. Or we're behind you two. So whoever was first, you can go through these three boxes. Let's be a little, I guess be a little quick with it, though. And then uh, take whatever book you want for free, okay? 